the most beautiful sound I ever heard. Maria, 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 Maria. All the beautiful sounds of the world in a single word. Maria, 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 Maria. I've just met a girl named Maria, and suddenly the name. Will never be the same to me, Maria. I've just kissed a girl named Maria, and suddenly I found how wonderful the sound can be. It's almost like praying, Maria. I'll never stop saying, Maria.
timed his release to, to, to coincide with the anniversary of the show. Um, that having been said, it's, it's not really a tribute record at all. In terms of American music, it's really now part of the literature of American music. And I think, I don't know anybody that knows this music that doesn't like it. It was an era and a time where, where, where romance was, 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 was where it was at. All the beautiful sounds of the... It's like a love story in music. Maria, I just met a girl named Maria, and suddenly I found how wonderful the sound can be. It's a love story. The love stories transcend time. These songs are sort of timeless, and they have their own, they have their own uh, integrity, and they're going to be around. <laughs> Words won't work like ba 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 in, right. in every case. So right. some of them are da 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 da. Yeah. da, da Automobile. Da. And, there you go. It doesn't seem to to feel as if it's old or like we're revamping something old. You know, it seems as if it's just right for now. Even though uh, Leonard Bernstein was was not a jazz player or a jazz writer particularly, but he's trying to convey um, it, it's sort of a cultural message from the time that he was conveying. He was the, the, the pioneer of that era of musical. Musically, it was an, very unique for Broadway to, to attack a lot of ethnic, a lot of discussion of, of a mixture of love. Very current story. It's a Latino story in the middle of New York, uh, you know, trying to survive in the whole thing. My parents came to, uh, to America from Puerto Rico, and, and their dream was, of course, to um, to have a nice place and to make uh, our lives better. And the music really reflects the, what was going on in that era in New York. There was plenty of, uh, of fighting uh, going on. Um, so that part of the story was true. It had a very New York feeling, but uh, uh, West Side Story permeates the world today. You know, everyone has, knows their version of that. Nowadays, it's much easier to understand even the story of West Side Story because everyone in practically any city in the United States can can identify, know what gangs are, and know uh, how these things happen. So uh, the story, I think, actually even has gained more credibility through the years. It's not about uh, Latinos or blacks or or, or Asians. Or it's a, it's about social problems that deal with discrimination and people trying to get along and accept each other. Dave's done is like now he's brought the music back to Latin as well so it adds even more it's like you don't necessarily have to sing everything in an accent because the music is saying this is Latin American I kept some elements but I didn't but I rescored everything in other words I reorchestrated it and I and I put a I put a little jazz vibe I th almost on almost everything it creates a certain freshness to music that's already ageless, so it's, it's sort of a, a very um, present day um, type of situation here. One thing I'm trying to accomplish with this project, the West Side Story project, is representing the music, which had its birth 40 years ago this September. Bernstein had complicated melody lines and complicated harmonies and, and almost the the beginnings of the f jazz feeling in the undercurrent of of the score already. But there's no there's no point in in remaking the show as it existed or the orchestrations or the arrangements and and uh, these songs. We're trying to contemporize it, but not in terms of of the record business contemporizing it. It's it, it's music from the 90s now. It's a conceptual album of jazz and great jazz musicians and some guest artists like John Cicada and Gloria Stefan, Jonathan Butler. Um, how do you sing a song like Tonight, you know? What's the arrangement? So Dave Grusin's point of view is to attach it as something brand new. At the end, uh, you don't need an extra one, I think. No. Yeah. If you, if you want me to sing a certain uh, melody or a certain note, just let me know. Endless 
since tonight is one of my favorite all-time songs, it was really a thrill to do something different with it. Um, this interpretation of it and the orchestration, which is spectacular, uh, just gives you ideas and new places to go. She brought her little kind of Latina lilt to some of these phrases. It's very subtle. It's not trying to turn it into something it isn't, but, but uh, it's exactly what we're looking for. A good opportunity to do different things and have been done and at the same time keep those incredible melodies that were so spectacular and continue to be. It's as hip as it ever was, if not hipper. And so amazingly cool. Many hellos in the 